from the dead dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And be your spirit. So brothers and sisters, uh, we're here uh, to worship the Lord. To delight in the Lord who delights in us. Let's prepare ourselves uh, to worthily celebrate these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our sins, repenting. God's amazing, loving forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that we may experience at all times the fruit produced by the Paschal observances. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, who set sail from Troas, making a straight run for Samothrace, and on the next day to Neapolis, and, and from there to Philippi, a leading city in the district of Macedonia and the Roman colony. We spent some time in that city. On the Sabbath, we went outside the city, city gate, along the river, where we thought there would be a place of prayer. We sat and spoke with the women who had gathered there. One of them, a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth. From the city of Theatria, a worshiper of God listened, and the Lord opened their heart to pay attention to what Paul was saying after she and her household has been baptized she offered she offered us an invitation if you consider me a believer in the Lord come and stay at my home and she prevailed on us the word of God thanks, thanks be to God. God response the Lord takes delight in his people the Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song, a phrase in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. Response. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with dream bell and sharp and harp. The for the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. Response 
The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let, the, let them sing for joy upon their coaches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Response. The Lord takes delight in his people. to me, says the Lord, and you also will testify. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And be with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel to John. Glory to you. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me. And you also testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. So that you may not fall away. They will expel you from the synagogues. In fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he's offering worship to God. They will do this because they have not known either the Father or me. I have told you this, so that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Brothers and sisters, let's just think about that phrase from today's psalm. And let's allow the truth of this verse to amaze us. Let's allow ourselves to realize something of what this means. And then let's be amazed by it takes delight in his people. The Lord is the creator of the whole universe. Sha and Rumika and Boong Sali Botan. All the billions of people in this world. What, seven, eight billion, seven and a half billion? God is the creator of all this. And he's the sustainer of all this. Think of his majesty, his power, his glory, his splendor. And let's also think that this, the billions of people on this world and the whole earth is just a tiny speck compared with the sun. And the sun is just one star among billions and billions and billions of stars in this galaxy. Galaxy is only one galaxy in the billions and billions in this universe. And the Lord God is the creator of all of this. And he keeps it in existence. Let's just think of his greatness, his power. And then think of ourselves. 
We're, we're so small. We're so weak. And we're wounded and we're sinful. And yet, even those who are so weak, wounded and sinful, and even those God is so great and powerful and also holy, He loves us. He loves us. And He delights in us. He delights in us. The, the image is kind of of him dancing with joy over us because he loves us so much. When we come into his presence, when we turn to him in repentance for our sins and in faith, it causes God so much joy. He delights to be in communion with us. He delights to be in a deeper and deeper and deeper union with us. It gives him joy. It gives him delight. Is that not amazing? Is that not amazing? He delights in his people. He delights to be in communion with us. Let's ask God to show us in a deeper way what that means. About how precious we are. About how valuable we are. Yes, yes, we need to know our weakness. Yes, we need to know our woundedness. Yes, we need to know our sinfulness. Very important. Very, very important that we know this. We know our weakness. We know our woundedness. We know our sinfulness. But even more important is that we know God's amazing love for us and how valuable and precious we are and that the Lord delights to come into communion with us. And as we realize that, let's, what other response can we have other than to say, yes, Lord, I want to come into deeper communion with you, union with me. I repent, Lord, of my sins. I place my faith in Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's just pray that our eyes, our hearts are open to this truth and that we respond by turning to the Lord in repentance, in faith, and allowing him to change us, to transform us, to become more and more the people he's created us to be. People of love, people of goodness, people of generosity, people of joy, people of justice, people of peace, people of kindness. Let's allow ourselves to be drawn into deeper communion with God with a God who delights in us. And as we experience his delight in us, we will be transformed and transformed and transformed to become more and more and more like Jesus. And then we'll go out into this world and we'll be Jesus. We'll love and we'll serve others and we'll lay down our life for them with joy and delight. Let's ask for the Holy Spirit times Coming up to Pentecost, it's the Holy Spirit who reveals God's love for us. It's the Holy Spirit who reveals that God delights in us. And it's the Holy Spirit who convicts us of sin to repent and have faith in Jesus and receive God's love. So let's ask for this Holy Spirit. Amen. And now, let's pray. Let's pray for ourselves, let's pray for the world, let's pray for the church, let's pray for the poor, the needy, the hungry, the sick. Um, let's pray, maybe today just pray especially for God's church, for God's people whom God delights in, that we, God's church, might turn to him in a deeper repentance and faith, be transformed by him more and more, and that we might manifest God's love and God's life in a hurt, broken, suffering world. Let's pray for an end to the COVID crisis. Uh, let's pray 
for any other things we want to pray for, anything God puts on our heart. And let's just take a few moments now in silence to pray. So Lord, we lift up all these prayers to you, together with the needs of the whole world, the needs of the whole church, the needs especially of the poor, the hungry, the sick, the lonely, the hurt, the, the marginalized, the oppressed. We pray that your church, your body, might reveal your love, manifest your love, And we pray, Lord, also for all the unspoken prayers of our hearts, confident that you hear our prayers, for we make them through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Amen. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, Grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to lord you yet more gloriously when christ our passover has been sacrificed through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful for his death is our ransom from death and in his rising the life of all has risen therefore overcome with paschal joy every land every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, 
and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. Si Christo ai curita in, salilia in ihanin, bilan parca et in umin, inasa saluana din, hangam sa shai dumatin, hangam sa shai Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Roberto, our Bishop, all the clergy, and the entire people you have made your own. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages, we may be co-heirs, we may merit to be co-heirs for eternal life, and give you praise and glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. 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 Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom and the power, power and the glory are yours, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and grant her peace 
and unity in accordance with your will will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And in your spirit. Let's offer each other now a sign of that peace. 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 Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be the body and blood of Christ. Give us the Lord. of his disciples and said to them peace be with you hallelujah let us pray lord look with kindness on your people and grant we pray that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has ended. Amen. Let us glorify the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
Sing 